Joining us for perspective on Somalia and the pirates who operate from its territory is Bronwyn Bruton, an international affairs fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations. She joins us from Washington. Thank you very much for being with us. My pleasure. We hear a lot about Somalia being a failed state. What exactly does it mean and how does that lead to piracy? The concept of a failed state is hard for Americans to understand, but basically what it means is that there is no government whatsoever in Somalia. There are very few functioning hospitals, there are few functioning schools, most of the population can't read, 90% of people are unemployed, um, and obviously that means that crime is rampant in the country. Piracy has its roots in the collapse of the military regime in 1991, which put the Coast Guard out of business. And at the same time, all of these people who were working for the Coast Guard started to notice that fishermen from foreign countries were appearing on their shores, stealing fish by the barrel full. And they decided to team up and create a volunteer Coast Guard that essentially collected taxes from these people who were robbing their waters. But that developed eventually into piracy, as they noticed that it was really easy to take over ships. And that's how we've got the problems that we have today. Well, given all that you explained there, what are America's options for dealing with Somalia as a whole? Well, we do have to deal with Somalia as a whole. We can't treat piracy as if it were an isolated problem, and we can't really resolve it militarily. What we have to do is find a way to stabilize Somalia's conflict so that the economy can get back to life in Somalia and that these people who are working as pirates can find better and more sustainable forms of livelihoods. How are the pirates regarded inside Somalia? Well, you know, they're not heroes necessarily, but I think that many Somalis have the impression that they're performing a kind of service and at the very least that they're taking back a little of what is being stolen. So while you know they're not necessarily Robin Hood, they're also not the villains in Somalia that we tend to see them as in the West. And, and what was the impact, or what will the impact be with the U.S. Navy's raid uh, that took place on piracy? How serious is the threat specifically to Americans after these recent events? Well, we have to keep in mind that the real threat to American interest is not piracy. It's the possibility that al-Qaeda will gain a foothold in Somalia and turn it into a safe haven for terrorist attacks on American interests in the Horn of Africa and on ships passing through the Gulf of Aden. Currently, we're actually in a good situation in regards to piracy because the pirates and the terrorists want to stay as far from, away from each other as possible. And the reason for that is that pirates are not being attacked openly and freely by Americans. Now, if we start using overwhelming force against the pirates, they may very well figure that they have little to lose by associating with al-Qaeda, by making some money from transporting their weapons or from allowing them to take part in these hostage-taking situations and potentially even sink ships. And that is a situation that is the worst case scenario and one that we really have to avoid. So in future, while I think our, our current response was justified to this last crisis, we need to be focused on making sure that it doesn't happen again. Bronwyn Bruton, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.